Yeah, and the weekend's <laughs> looking a lot drier than when we started the work week. It was looking a lot wetter, but uh, the front that we were tracking yesterday is now down to our south and obviously did bring us quite a bit of rainfall yesterday. In fact, for the month of July, KCI has received 2.56 inches of rain, which is about 0.12 inches above what we typically see around this time of the month. Now it is, uh, we got at least over an inch and a half at KCI just yesterday alone. Some spots saw a little bit less, others a little more. Again, you get the picture between a quarter to an inch in some spots, even over an inch and many uh, from all those thunderstorms and the widespread steady rain that moved through. Now we're mainly dry, but there is still cloud cover that's across our area this morning or this afternoon, and it's gonna linger for several hours until we get a little bit of that sunshine to come through by the afternoon today and maybe towards the evening, but they might be pretty stubborn. This front has been pretty slow to move through the area and you'll notice it's mainly to our south and it's probably going to stay that way through this upcoming weekend, leaving our chances for rain pretty slim. Live power Doppler, not much to show you here and maybe you have plans to, uh, you know, take, take out the barbecue or the grill and expect to see some pleasant weather through the afternoon and evening. And in fact, by about six o'clock, we'll be around 81 degrees. So it's not too bad and partly cloudy at that point and we should see decreasing clouds through the evening hours but highs today they're expected to get into the low 80s just about everywhere there may be one or two spots that get to 84 degrees maybe 85 as we uh, look at our high temperatures normal is 88 still so that's slightly below normal for this time of year and maybe you're going to the K later on this evening 710 for our first pitch and by then we'll still be near 80 degrees so it'll be a little warm but by the end of the game it should be nice with temperatures near 77, only a slim chance of a shower. I don't think we'll get any delays for the game, though. I'm not expecting a whole lot of instability in the atmosphere, so really not expecting any thunder. Here's our forecast track to show you that idea as we head through this afternoon and evening. Stopping here about 8 o'clock, slight chance for a pop-up shower, and then majority of us drying out through the overnight hours heading into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon may offer up a little bit more cloud cover through the afternoon, but most expected to stay dry with only a stray shower that'll be light and brief as we head through that time. Now, pushing ahead to next week, there's going to be a big ridge of high pressure that builds to the west, continue to strengthen, and as it does so, it's really going to heat things up on the west coast, where obviously they really don't need any more heat, but it's also going to keep us pretty mild until we get into the second half when that ridge starts to break down a little bit and we will eventually be warming up. In fact, Security Bank's seven-day forecast has highs in the low to mid-80s all the way up into next week, Monday, Tuesday, 85-86, we're staying mainly dry though from that ridge is pretty much going to block any systems from arriving here and then 90s returning Wednesday into Thursday. So enjoy this weekend while you can while there's not much going on, at least weather wise. Hopefully many folks can enjoy the weather, especially compared to last weekend when no one really could do much in the afternoon and evening when we had all that rainfall. Kelly. Oh, yeah.